Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. So today we're looking at four fragrances from a well-known low budget supermarket, Aldi. Uh, these four fragrances are men's fragrances that I think they released in 2018, but they also released them again in 2019. You still might be able to pick them up in the Aldi supermarkets, but you'd have to rummage around, I'm afraid, because I think mean, they were released before Christmas, so once stocks have gone, they're gone. Uh, anybody that doesn't know, Aldi do a lot of different copies. Most of the copies that they do are for female fragrances, but and it's normally based around Chanel, things like that. But they also do a range of candles and lotions. Uh, the main thing that they tend to do is they copy Jo Malone. I've got a Jo Malone candle there, which is like really lovely to smell. Now we know that Aldi do versions of Pomegranate Noir and a few other Jo Malones in the candles, but they also do like luxury hand washes and that that is their version of Pomegranate Noir, which is really nice. But I was surprised when I saw these fragrances and I thought I'll give them a try. First one I tried was Low, which is an 100ml bottle and it's based on Aqua di Gio. You can see it's a frosted bottle, just a basic cap. <laughs> Real freshy and is very similar to Aqua di Gio. Um, I'll go on to performance and projection later, but that is a really nice fresh scent. The second one they've done is called Victory. And this, as you can tell by the bottle, it's based on one million. It's definitely got the one million tone to it. Um, quite similar in the opening. The third one that they do is called Steel. which is their version of Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. And it's definitely got the same vibe to it. I, I wouldn't say they're exact copies, they're nowhere near. In fact, I'd probably say they're more along the 70%. But you can tell that the DNA is there. And then finally, the other one they did was called Masculine. Which when you look at the bottle colour, you can probably tell straight away what that's going to be. And it's a copy of Le Mal by Jean-Paul Gaussier. Once again, you get the DNA. Um, definitely the Le Mal DNA. I've tested all four of these on skin. Uh, you probably get at best projection wise about an hour after that skin scent probably four hours maybe a little bit more it depends on the environment at the time of the year and stuff like that but for me they don't last very long but things like the, the fresh ones like low it's an ideal gym bag scent throw it in your gym bag just throw it on at any time even like the side door in your car this sort of thing for and i haven't mentioned the price yet but these are like six pound 99 each so they're, they're proper like you forgot to put a fragrance on you've got in the car you thought oh no chuck one of these on something like this which is more fresh which is ideal but yeah, they're, they're okay. For £6.99, what do you expect, really? 
I see some people raving about them, I wouldn't go that far. But they're okay for the price. Um, I wouldn't expect any more to be fair. Um, anybody that's like going and purchasing these as a replacement for the original, it's not really gonna work for you. Especially if they're only lasting for an hour projection wise. For the price, if, if they was a bit dearer, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. Well, for six pound ninety nine each, so for all four cents, you're talking twenty eight pounds. So it's not a bad. So if you are interested in getting one of these, I should probably pop into your local Aldi pretty soon because once, like I said earlier, once the stocks are gone, they they're not back in. So they'll probably be re-releasing them again about December time. So you might be lucky enough to get a couple of them. You might even be able to get all of them. Um, if like me, you've got three or four Aldi's around you, then you might be able to pick all four of them up by going to each of the stores. Right, and that's it from me. If any of you smelt these, I'd like to hear your comments if you have. Um, and if you could like, comment and subscribe, that'd be great. And I'll speak to you again soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant. Oh,